and we will create an object of a register class and we will fetch this as the details we will check using link queue data context dot register dot where if query dot username username is basically email dot contains this username and condition query dot password dot contains password dot single or default so this will if it has the matching record in database with the username and password provided it will return the object otherwise it will return null so here we will check if register equal equal to null if null is returned from db we will return false else we will return true so now we need to call this method from our controller so we say we will create one bool variable and we will we have to create object of register service now we say service dot is valid user we pass username and password to it so this will create this will give whether the record is present in db or not so we can say if is valid then we will redirect it to some other method redirect to action we will create one welcome page so if, if it's valid then we will redirect to welcome page else we will add an error which will say that password combination not found what is it saying so I think this is fine In this case, we will return the same view. We will model to show the error message and why we are getting error here. Got all code parts. Oh, we are not returning here. Okay. Now we will create one. action result method for our welcome page that is
and we will add view which will say welcome to application you are validated now let's run the application and see now as per our database records we have sask at the red gmail dot com so i will go to the login screen i'll enter my username and i'll also enter my password and i'll click on login so it will it has come to the is valid user now both the credentials are there so it has returned the object correct object and it has returned true so i'll be returning to the welcome page now if suppose i type some wrong password so this will return null and obviously false and we'll go to else statement and this will add a model error and the same view will be returned so this is how we can create a register form and interact to the database and create a login form here we have used very basic functionality and for login we could create an authentication ticket and much more for the user we can create a new session for the user and we have also seen how to use data authentication attributes to validate the form and how to use edmx so this is all about sample register and login application in mvc3 data Thank you, friends.